All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the first part here of creating a form. So we're gonna set up a payment form. So we'll name it whatever you want. I'm calling it conditional payments demo. And you can add whatever fields you want to the form. I'm just gonna add the basic fields uh, that we'll need in order to perform this demo and demonstrate it accurately uh, for best performance. Uh, so we've got a name, email, a product field, and then some radio fields, which we will need to help with triggering conditional logic. We're gonna need our payment processing uh, field, so Stripe, uh, Square, and then you don't have to have a total field. I'm gonna add a total field so that it looks nicer uh, when the customer's using it. Now I'm just gonna go through and go ahead and set things up. I'm gonna make all these fields required, uh, set up my product field so that it's ready to go. It's just gonna be a basic single product for this demo purposes. Um, uh, I'm going to call it tutorial tip. If you'd like to leave a tip, feel free. Um, but uh, so set up your product field and then this first radio field. This is going to be the field that we will use for uh, payment type. So are you going to pay later, cash, check? Are you going to pay with credit card? Are you going to pay with PayPal? So in this case, I'm going to just say pay later. Uh, you could put cash or check. Credit card will be another option, and then PayPal will be the third option. Uh, the second radio button I'm gonna use for um, payment gateways. Now, typically you wouldn't set your form up like this. You wouldn't give your customer the option to use uh, or to choose which payment gateway they wanna use, Stripe or Square. That would be confusing and impact your, your sales. Uh, it's, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so, so that you can see how conditional logic works with different payment gateways. Um, so that's why I've set that, that uh, radio option up there. Um, and then we've got the credit card fields and, and the total field. Again, you don't need, but it's there. Then we'll update, and that's all we need to do for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to apply the conditional logic uh, that we'll need for the individual fields.